Hi, I'm Dries Smith. Hi, I'm Elisna Smith. And we are from 3D Printing and Photography Supreme. This video is sponsored by Gearbased. Today we are going to show you how to build the Tron XY 3D Printer X1. Step 1. Assemble base frame. Parts needed. 240 aluminium profile, 250 millimeters, one piece. Base plate, one piece. M4 8 millimeter screw, three pieces. M4 T nut, three pieces. Method: Put the aluminium profile on the base plate. Secure them with three piece M4 10 millimeter screws and T nut. Step two. Assemble base frame. Parts needed. 2020 aluminium profile 70 millimeters, one piece. Corner bracket, two pieces. M4 8 millimeter screw, five pieces. M4 T nut, five pieces. Method. Put the 2020 aluminium profile 70 millimeters on the base plate. Secure them with one piece M4 8 millimeter screws and T nut. Fix the aluminium profiles using two piece corner brackets. Secure them with M4 8mm screws and M4 T nuts. Step 3 Install Z slide rail. Parts needed 2040 aluminium profile 310mm, one piece. Corner bracket, one piece. M5 10mm screw, two pieces. M5 40mm screw, one piece. M4 8mm screw, 2 pieces. M4 T nut, 2 pieces. Method Place 240 aluminium profile, 310mm on the base plate. Secure them with 2 piece M5 10mm screws. Fix the 2 piece aluminium profile with 1 piece corner bracket. Secure them with 2 piece M4 8mm screws and M4 T nut. Use one piece M5 40 mm screw to make them more stable. Step 4. Fix the Z slide rail. Parts needed. L shape acrylic block, one piece. M4 8 mm screw, four pieces. M4 T nut, four pieces. Method. Place one piece L shape acrylic block on the aluminium profile. Secure them with four pieces M4. 8 mm screws and T nut. Step 5. Assemble Y axis motor. Parts needed. 42 stepper motor, 1 piece. G2 16 pulley with grub screw in it, 1 piece. Limit switch, 1 piece. Y motor mount acrylic, 1 piece. M3 8 mm screws, 4 pieces. M4 8 mm screws, 3 pieces. M4 T nut, 3 pieces. M2 10 mm screw, 2 pieces. M2 nut, 2 pieces. Method. Insert the GT2 16 pulley to the motor shaft. Tighten the grub screw in the pulley. Next, assemble the 42 stepper motor and the Y motor mount acrylic with 4 piece M3 8 mm screw. Secure the limit switch to motor mount using 2 pieces M2 10 mm screws and nuts. Secure the motor mount to the back of the Y slide rail using 3 piece M4 8mm screws and T nuts. Step 6. Assemble bed frame. Parts needed. Bed frame acrylic 1 piece. Wheel 3 piece. Plastic pillar 3 piece. M5 30mm 3 piece. M5 nut 3 piece. GT2 timing belt 1 piece. Zip ties 1 piece. Secure the wheels in place using M5 30mm screws and nuts using plastic pillar between wheel and bed frame. Tighten one end of the timing belt to the bed frame using a zip tie. Next, slide the base frame to the 240 aluminium profile. Okay, so when completing the base plate, make sure it runs up on your bed here with the rigid side of the pulley to the bottom hand side and make sure that when you pull it you hear the limit switch click. Step 7. Assemble Y axis belt 
pulley. Parts needed. Y pulley mount acrylic, one piece. Belt pulley, one piece. M5 25mm screw, one piece. M5 nut, two piece. M6 washer, two pieces. M5 washer, two pieces. M4 8mm screw, three pieces. M4 T nut, three pieces. Method. Take one piece M5 25mm screw and insert the pulley mount. Secure it with M5 nut, then insert the washer and belt pulley. Secure them using M5 nut. Secure the Y belt pulley assembled to the front of the Y slide rail using three piece M4 8mm screws and nuts. Please note, tighten screws gently to avoid damaging the acrylic. Step 8. Assemble Z carriage. Parts needed. 2020 aluminium profile 285 mm, one piece. X motor mount acrylic, one piece. Extruded bracket, one piece. Brass nut, one piece. Plastic pillar, six pieces. Wheel, three pieces. M5 40 mm screw, three pieces. M5 lock nut, three pieces. M3 8 mm screw, three pieces. M4 8mm screw, 2 pieces. M4 T nut, 2 pieces. Method. Insert 3 piece M5 40mm screws to X motor mount and then secure it to the aluminium profile using 2 piece M4 8mm screws and T nuts. Put the wheels into M5 40 screws using plastic pillars between wheel and acrylic. Secure the extruded bracket using M5 nuts. Place the brass nut on the extruded bracket securing it using 3-piece M3 8mm screws. Step 9. Assemble Z-motor. Parts needed. 42-step motor, 1-piece. Z-motor seat, 1-piece. Coupling with grub screw in it, 1-piece. Threaded rod, 260mm, 1-piece. M3 8mm screw, 4-piece. M4 12mm screw, 2-pieces. M4 T-nut, 2-pieces. Method. Place one piece 42 stepper motor back of the Z slide rail. Put the motor seat on the motor and then secure them with four piece M3 8mm screws. Install them to the Z slide rail using two piece M4 12mm screws and T nuts. Take one piece threaded rod through the brass nut, then insert to the coupling and tighten up. Okay, guys, so. We're done assembling the rod into the axis here, the X axis. So now we're gonna fit it. Looks like a perfect fit. And there's some kind of problem over here. If you have a look here. See what's happening here. I'm just dropping it straight down and we have a clearance problem there. Uh, I'm not sure how we're gonna fix that. I will figure something out. Okay so I searched the internet for a fixed on the 3D printed coupling. I found a solution on Thingiverse. I tried to print it. I had some issues. Uh, with my printer. I went to a friend David and he printed this piece for me. So yeah, it works perfectly. Okay, I'm done with the mod. Like you guys can see now, the rod slides exactly straight into the coupling. Step 10. Assemble X-axis end stop and pulley. Parts needed. Belt pulley, one piece. Limit switch, one piece. X pulley mount acrylic, one piece. X end stop mount acrylic, one piece. M5 25mm screw, one piece. M5 nut, one piece. M5 lock nut, one piece. M6 washer, two pieces. M5 washer, two pieces. 
M4 8 mm screw 4 pieces, M4 T nut 4 pieces, M2 10 mm screw 2 pieces, M2 nut 2 pieces. Method Secure the limit switch to X end stop mount using 2 piece M2 10 mm screws and nuts. Then place the X end stop mount to the left end of the X rail using 2 piece M4 8 mm screw and T nuts. Take one piece M5 25 mm screw and insert the pulley mount. Secure it with M5 nut. Then insert the washer and belt pulley. Secure them using M5 lock nut. Secure the X belt pulley assembly on the right of the X slide rail using two piece M4 8 mm screws and nuts. Step 11. Install handle. Parts. Handle one piece. Handle seed acrylic one piece. M5 10 mm screw 2 pieces. M4 12 mm screw 2 pieces. Method Put the handle seat on the top of the Z rail. Secure them with 2 pieces M5 10 mm screws. Secure the handle to the seat using 2 piece M4 12 mm screws. Step 12 Install Z end stop. Parts Limit switch 1 piece. Z end stop mount 1 piece. M4 8mm screw 1 piece, M4 T nut 1 piece, M2 10mm screw 2 piece, M2 nut 2 pieces. Method Secure the limit switch to the Z end stop mount using 2 piece M2 10mm screws and nuts. Place the Z end stop mount to the left Z slide rail using 1 M4 8mm screw and T nut. Step 13. Assemble print bed. Parts needed. Bed plate 1 piece. M330 mm screw 4 pieces. Thumb nut 4 pieces. Spring 4 pieces. Method. Place the bed plate on the bed frame. Use 4 piece springs between them. And then through 4 piece M330 screws. Then top 4 piece thumb nuts under the bed frame. From here on, I went and connect all the wires to the different stepper motors and limit switches. Connecting them to the control board is quite easy. If you hold the control board right hand side up with all the connectors to your right hand side, you'll find on top there's a 4 pin X motor connector, then underneath that is a Y motor connector, then you'll find a Z motor connector, the extruder motor, then you'll find the power, a hot bed, which we will not use since the 3D printer does not have a hot bed. Then you'll find a hot end, that's the extruder heater. Then you'll find a fan, which we're not going to use. Then there's a cooling fan, that's the cooler fan for the extruder heater. Then you'll find the X axle limit switch then the Y axle limit switch, then the Z axle limit switch. Then there's a bed temperature which we're not going to use because we don't have a hot bed. And then there's a extruder temperature, ah, thermostat, sorry. Then on the left hand side from top to bottom you'll find the micro SD card, then the USB cable connector and then your LCD connector. Here I just tied up all the connectors together with the cable shrinking they give. Uh, it's not enough, so yeah, I made the best of it. In association with GearBest, we thank you all for watching this video. Please leave a comment down below if you have any questions and I will come back to you as soon as possible. Please subscribe to our channel and give this video a thumbs up.